Latinos Are One is a show which basically involves a record producer, which is me, and uh, three artists from completely different backgrounds. To basically lock ourselves in the studio for a couple of days and create a piece of music that will, in a way, celebrate our similarities as Latinos. This is LR1. <laughs> I'm Andres Levine. I'm a producer, artist, composer. I've worked not only on records, but on films and live shows and some Broadway shows. But my main stomping ground is the recording studio. I was born in Venezuela, raised in North Carolina and New York, involved in and out of recording studios since I was seven, eight years old. My dad does electronic music in Venezuela. My dad's name is Luis, Luis Levine. He's a professor in the University of Venezuela, but he's a musician and continues to have a band. They've been together for over 30 years called Musica Automatica. I think probably my earliest musical recollection of, of bands that I would listen to on the Latin side were obviously the greats, uh, Oscar de Leon of Venezuela, Fania, Perlavo, all the classics, tons of rock, you know, the, the Zeppelin and Hendrix was huge influence. When I finished high school in Venezuela, I applied for a full scholarship at Berkeley College of Music, and, and I got one. A couple semesters in Berkeley, and then I came to New York, went to Juilliard, and studied composition, and at the same time, started working at recording studios. At the time, I got a job with Nile Rogers uh, as his you know, assistant and programmer, and basically you know, ended up working on my first records when I was 18. And, at 19, I got the chance to produce my first album. That led to me working with Shaka Khan and Tina Turner and Gladys Knight and all the divas all of a sudden. So I spent like two years doing soul and R&B and nothing to do with Latin music. So I was always kind of in a bipolar world because I loved soul music, I loved hip hop, and then all the, most of the Latin bands and Brazilian bands out of that. Bipolarism. I met Cuckoo Diamantes and we started uh, Yerba Buena. I, my, my whole life has been fusion. It's always been a, about trying to make things make sense. It's almost like creating a, a sound that's very familiar because it feels like you've heard it before, but you can't really identify what it is. We're, you know, here in New York at the Magic Shop, blessed with a lot of great positive energy. I've done tons of records here, and it's, I think, the perfect place for this lab that's going to basically start today. What's exciting about uh, LR1 is the fact that, you know, I've invited three different artists from three different parts of the country, three different backgrounds and most importantly, three different styles of music. Uh, you know, Debbie is Costa Rican with, you know, lives in LA, so has that kind of a whole West Coast vibe. John is Peruvian, New York, from the Bronx, and Velcro, Mexican, Dominican parents, lives in Puerto Rico. They're all young, up and coming artists, and everybody comes from a different musical background, so it's not like we're doing anything that's in the comfort zone of any particular person. My role as the producer is to kind of edit and create the space, the creative space for each person's voice to work in this, you know, piece of art, piece of music that we're going to create. I'm excited to put everybody in the room and start taking them to a place that's kind of unexpected. And maybe that's what the song's going to be about. Coming up next on LR1, Velcro, an MC with diverse roots and musical influence. Growing up around all that multicultural musical influence nurtured a sense of identity where borders don't really matter. It doesn't really matter where it's from or even what it is as long as it's good. 